Now for our first school, it is Limbrook. Uh, and the main key point that they, uh, that kind of sums up Limbrook is that they are very successful in math competitions and overall a pretty well-rounded school. As you can see in the previous slide, um, both US News and Niche did rank them pretty evenly at 14 and 12, which are very good. Um, but as I said before, they're very successful in math competitions as of late. We're gonna get into that information. Um, in the uh, key characteristics slide. However, the one weakness that we saw from Limbrook is that the school did see a decrease in the UC Berkeley and UCLA admission uh, percentage, especially for UC Berkeley. Now, just a little spoiler, all of the schools did see an increase for UC Berkeley. It was across the board uh, due to COVID-19. However, Limbrook's was uh, especially noticeable, and we'll get to that uh, down here. As you can see, for UC Berkeley in 2019, they had almost 30% matriculation rate into Berkeley, but it dropped by 21% all the way down to almost 8 almost 9% in 2020. Um, so all schools did see a drop, but it is 21%. So it is a little bit more than the other ones. And then UCLA dropped as well, but not as much. Uh, it was 17% down to uh, 13, almost 14% in 2020. Now for their other uh, key characteristics, or their the brief introduction, uh, their teacher to student ratio is one to 23. To get a little comparison, the California average is one to 23. So they're right on pace for the average. And then they also are focused on hiring more teachers with advanced degrees. Uh, for last year, 2020-2021, 93% of teachers held advanced degrees, uh, which is a 25% increase from last year, and then 94% of their teachers have three or more years of teaching experience. And now that we've got over this one, let's get to the next slide which is where do they go after graduation? Um, and then when you look at this chart, all these charts for this category are pulled from the school profile. Uh, that's where uh, we got them from. And so when you look at the key points, um, there definitely is more interest in the UC system than the CSU system. This is across the board with all the schools, but you can definitely see here with Limbrook, 34% of students went to a UC, or only 10% went to a CSU. But the highest category here is the out of state, which is 44%. Almost half of the students decide to go out of state, whether it's a public one like Ohio State or a private one like uh, Boston University, uh, they definitely like going uh, out of state. And then the last one is that uh, there was not as much popularity for this school for community colleges, only 7%. So now we'll move on to the next slide which is their competitions and awards. Like we just said, uh, recently Limburg students have seen a lot of success in math competitions. Last year, uh, five students received the USAMO or US Math Olympiad awards, uh, which was more than any other school in the Bay Area. Now, just to get you a comparison of some other Bay Area schools, uh, Gunn received one, Saratoga received three. And then when you even look at the private Bay Area schools, Nueva and Harker received two, and then Basis, who is known for or its math competitions and like their specialty in math, they received three. So I guess if I could put one like take home point from Lumbrook is that it's a very good school for students who are interested in math and especially interested for math competitions. As you can see, as of late, uh, they're doing better than their direct peer group and even doing better than some private schools in the Bay Area. And for the last uh, point for this slide, uh, there were four students this year who received uh, the Scientific Genius Award and one of them was from Lumbrook. So now that we cover the competitions and awards, we're going to get into the academics. So for Limbrook's academics, uh, one main point is that despite the matriculation rates dropping last year from UC Berkeley and UCLA, Limbrook uh, did see their academic numbers uh, for the ACT and uh, NMSF, which is National Merit Semifinalist, increase. Uh, their ACT score went up from 31.7 to 33.14 from 2019 to 2020. And then a really good point here is their National Merit Semifinal was almost doubled from 2020 to 2021. It was 40, and uh, now this year it was at 79. Now looking at their other academic stats, their SAT score was 1434. And then uh, for another key point is that their GPA is actually, uh, they have more students with a 4.0 GPA than a three to 3.49. As you can see right here, 21.2% of students had a 4.0 GPA, which is definitely a high percentage. And then over half of their students had a 3.5 to 3.99 with 16.1% uh, having a three to 3.49. And just rounding out their academic their AP tests, 94% received a three or higher, 47% received a five, and then uh, their average score was 4.51. 
and for their uh, California Assessment of Student Performance, or CAASP. 79 were college ready in English, while 82 were college ready in math. And then lastly, the number of AP courses they offered was 17. Uh, so that concludes the slide for Limbrook.